Hello there. Thank you for joining me once again. Today we're taking a look at magnetic flux viewing film. This gives us a clue about how a given pickup is constructed, and it's just a lot of fun. Now, with a pickup that has exposed pole pieces, like this two-band stingray, there's not much point in using the viewing film. We can see the pattern. However, coming up, the base that started it all, we were having a discussion over on the Talkbase forum, particularly about the MB2 and the MB1E pickups. The MB2s are actually a reverse P sensing pickup, and this one should be an MB1E. Yep, standard Hombucker pattern. And just for kicks, here's an MB2 with that reverse P sensing pattern on an SB600, courtesy of my buddy Alex. Thank you, Alex. Coming up, we have my five string Cirrus bolt on. And like the MB1E, it's not gonna use pole pieces, exposed or otherwise. It's gonna use bar magnets, or what some people call rails. And here we have another five string, the Bassa OB5. And perhaps predictably, bar type magnets. Now, this one really surprised me. Here we have Medieval Mike's Padula Pentabuzz, which I assumed to be single coils. As a matter of fact, I was not even going to include it in this video. But I'm sure glad that I checked, because look what we have here. They are split. So I am assuming they're split coils like a P-Base, just arranged in a single coil type of case. Pretty cool, right? And this is my PVG base. I wanted to include this one because it kind of has a Stingray vibe, but then at the same time I thought, eh, it probably just uses the same pickup as the Cirrus, the VFL, and pretty sure it does. Yep. And here we have my short scale area SB1010, just double checking it. Pretty sure it was using that MB1E, and it is. The Kubiki factor was quite difficult to film because I just had to hold it there. I could not rest it on the wall hanger. Yep, bar magnets. And this one's the Bartolini, or the Area Olini. And I thought it would use a Stingray type of pickup with pole pieces underneath that cover, but it's also a bar magnet. And here we have something really special, my Area SB LTD. Check this out. Now, I already knew this, but you might not know that these are actually single coils. And they have quite a striking pattern. Look at that. No other pickup looks like that. Alembic calls these activators. That's what they call their pickups. And they sound wonderful. And I saved the most surprising one for last. Here we have my JT Dingwall. Check this out. This one completely blew me away since I'm not a Dingwall expert. Look at that. Wow. Basically we have three super P-Base type split humbuckers. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed that little adventure with our magnetic flux viewing film. Thank you for joining me and talk to you soon. Bye-bye.